Oh, what's up? I feel compelled to make a video because I'm pissed! Sick and tired! Tired of this crap! This garbage life! Oh, I know. Man, he's negative. I don't care if I'm negative. Get over it! Yes, I'm negative. Why? Because I'm not going to be positive 100% of the damn time. If you go on social media and you scroll down your stupid list, what you're going to find is a bunch of people praising and whining and forcing you to believe that all you have to be is positive. If you're positive all the damn time, guess what? Nothing is going to change in your life and nothing is going to change in the life of others or in your world. Nothing! It is only until you get so damn sick and tired of being positive about living the way you are that stuff actually changes. Are you fat? What, are you going to be positive about it? Shut up! Be pissed about it. Be negative about it. Look in the damn mirror and be honest about it. Be positive. Shut up! If you're focusing on being positive, 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 you're creating a void in your life. A void which life will have to make up for. You can't dwell in the damn pool of positivity all the damn time. It's not realistic. It doesn't make sense. It's not spiritual. Satanic freaking losers will tell you to be positive all the time. I said it. Positivity all the time is Satanism. It's Satanic. Do what thou wilt. It's the whatever. All of the damn law. Whatever the heck these losers think. Love. All you need is love. All you need is love. That Beatles message. It's Satanic. Love is not all that you need. Period. I don't care. I'm tired of it. Woke up pissed today. It's no we in the world of cowards. Cowards. Everybody wants to be politically correct. Nobody wants to step on anybody's toes. Cowards. Nobody wants to be bald. All these so-called Christians don't know what the heck they're doing. They're, they're freaking lost. I thought I was lost. Man, these people are freaking lost. Politically correct. I'm not running for president. I don't plan on running for government office. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be politically correct. Keep that and shove it right up where the sun don't damn shine. Passion is key. A guy shared this video on YouTube, on Facebook, and I totally agree. The ultimate warrior passed away, whatever. I don't know when, but he had some really good inspiring videos that I ended up checking out. He's yelling at you! I'm pumped! Telling you to live with passion! Skip breakfast! Be intense! I agree! I agree there! Be intense! Live tenaciously! Where's the tenacity? Especially for you men! Especially for you men! We got some effeminate men out here. What is going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Soy, when they got every, go to Walmart, look, try to get some groceries, and try to avoid soybean oil. It's impossible. It's everywhere, pushed on you in everything, in the bread, in the canned goods, in the whatever, all this processed crap. Then you go to the fruit section. All of it is not ripe growing with chemicals. I went to the frickin' fruit section, looked at the grapes. What did I find? I, I had to double look. I didn't know what I was looking at. It looked like there were black frickin' peppers or something. There were grapes the size of my frickin' finger where my knuck the middle of my knuckle is. That's humongous! I posted the video of uh, the frickin' pictures of it on my Instagram because I was just baffled that this is the crap that they're pushing on us. We're giving chemicals up the ying, soy up the ying, which just gives you more estrogen. There's estrogen line in all your canned goods. We're being effeminized. Nobody cares. You look at the damn sky. Right now I'm looking at the damn sky. All I've seen for the past freaking week and a half or more is just tons and tons 
and tons of chemical trails where there's blood, heavy metals, and all sorts of gunk, garbage crap that they're spraying on you. Not to mention all the freaking advanced technology. The heavy metals is a form of technology. It's transhumanism. We're breathing it in. We live in a wicked, wicked, wicked world. But what? But wait. What is the answer of the church? Invite more people to church so that more people can be saved. Shut up! You're a politician! Church builder! Get out of here! You're not heavenly minded. You're, ch you're church minded. You're all about your system, your construct. Foul stinks! Effeminate men! Revival, revival, revival! Let me tell you something. Revival is an idol! You're idolizing revival, and it will never happen. If you want revival, all you gotta do is tap them in their freaking third eye, and they'll fall under the power of some spirit, not the Holy One. The Holy One never takes you out of your own damn self. He'll never have you faint. He'll never pass you out. He'll never have you crying in emotionalism 24 damn 7. Conviction will do that to you, yeah. But then you get up and you get over and get on with that and you graduate. Move on! Get up! There's work to be done. Positive, positive, positive. Revival, revival. Shut up! You don't read the Bible. You don't listen to Jesus' words, apparently. You want to talk about being positive all the damn time? This dude... You brood of vipers! Your generation of vipers! You hypocrites! He braided a whip and whipped people and the freaking the animals out of the temple! Positive! Shut up! You don't know what you're talking about! You want to know why? Satanism has infiltrated the church, masquerading the wolf in sheep's clothing masquerading as godly whatever you know Christianity it's nonsense the enemy is within our in our lines he's, he's in our camp and more than that he's running things so don't be positive get sick and damn tired of what the heck is going on open your damn eyes and look around Homosexuality being pushed everywhere! Accept it, accept it, accept it! No! Transgenderism pushed everywhere! Accept it, accept it, accept it! No! Transgenders are everywhere. I've been doing some research and it's freaking mind boggling how it's everywhere. Our athletes, Serena Williams, Mike Tyson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Olympic athletes, which I don't know names. All you gotta do is look at them. Men. Men posing as women. Actors of the yin yang. Is there an actor that is not a damn transgender? I don't freaking know. Every. It's just mind boggling. The lie is so big. It's unfathomable to even think of it as truth. Open your damn eyes! Train your eyes! Get with it! Get mad! Do something about it! Call it out! If you're quiet about it, if you're, com you're, if you're quiet about it, if you don't open your mouth against it, you're complicit. You're as bad as them. If you know the truth and you know good, and you don't say anything about it, you don't share it, you're as bad as them. And more than that, oh man, I want to say some cuss words right now, but I'm not. You're a wussy! And I wasn't thinking about wussy. Imagine what word I was saying. That's what I was trying to say. You're a castrated person if you don't go against evil and you don't call it out when you see it. You're complicit. I've made my, my mind. I've made my damn decision. I can't live anymore like this gentle, nice, politically damn correct, loving everybody, despite what the heck they're doing, 
Not saying nothing bad about nothing because I'm such a coward. Get out of here! Calling it out. All these loser Christians getting tattoos. Do you read the Bible? God said not to mark your bodies for a reason. He's looking out for your best interest. He cares about you. This thing is the holy damn temple. Forgive my language. See, I'm not perfect. When I repent and I move on. This is the temple. Gotta protect it. There's reasons why he said not to mark your body. It's not because he hates you having fun. It's to protect you. Wake up. Tired of these skinny jeans shoved down my damn throat everywhere I look. Blows my mind. It blows my mind. All right, that's it. I've rented enough. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Praise your mighty name. Praise Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh be praised. Hallelujah. Let me make it plain. Let me use as many names as I possibly can so that everybody knows who I'm talking about. Jesus the Christ, the one who died for my sins. Hallelujah. Man, I wanted some donuts and they're closed. It's probably for the best, but I'm hungry. I just need some comfort. I'm so tired being upset. I'm tired being alone out here. I'm tired. It gets tiring being that voice in the wilderness speaking up, saying something, and everybody else is just honky dory, living their damn life, enjoying all the garbage crap nonsense. I'm not trying to hate on people living a good life. I'm trying to hate on people living a foul, stank life, saying that it's clean and good. Saying that they're right where they need to be, right on target. Man, you're not trying enough. If you're not struggling, if, you're not, if you don't got stuff going on, if you don't have opposition, you're not trying enough. When everything's going okay, something's wrong. Straight up. 50-50 principle. When you preach like this, when you say stuff like this, 50% of the people are going to get it and understand and respect it and like you for it. Appreciate you for it. And then 50% are going to hate you. I'm okay with that. Because more so than not, more than 50% of people don't like me. Uh, Yo, you're being negative. It's the truth. It's just based on what the track I've been following of what I've been doing or saying or or what I really think or feel or whatever. You know, I, I get like this with girls. Girls at first... Oh, he's so cute. You know, oh, oh, well, they're interested at first. The moment I start to let them know who I am, what I'm about, they can't handle it. <laughs> That's because they're used to effeminate men. They're used to men that like to jump in the bed with them and just ignore every spiritual red flag or every spiritual s- message they get, you know. I'm sorry. I listen to the spiritual messages I get. I listen to that still, small voice. I can't not... N- do that (laughs) they're probably used to these male to female to male transgender men (laughs) or something because man they're called to be men bold rough and tough God in the Bible uses rough and tough people that's all I gotta say I love you God bless you get it together get mad make a difference start fighting be a fighter Stake your claim. Stake your ground. Draw a line in the sand. Pick a side. (laughs) God bless.